Battlestars are capital ships from the science fiction universe of Battlestar Galactica, depicted in the original Battlestar Galactica movie and series, the Galactica 1980 spin off, and the reimagined Battlestar Galactica series. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica 1978 <laughs> <laughs> General information Battlestars are the premier capital ships, effectively the space equivalent of aircraft carriers, of the twelve colonies of man but also combining some attributes of battleships. Battlestars have fought for at least 500 Yaren in the Thousand Yaren War against the Cylon Alliance. The hull is divided into the main hull with the bridge and propulsion systems, and winged hangar bays on the port and starboard sides. Each hangar bay typically carries many Viper starfighters and several unarmed shuttles which can deploy armed Landrum armored vehicles. The exact number of fighters deployed by each Battlestar is unclear although the Galactica recovers at least 69 in Saga of Star World, including some from other Battlestars which had been destroyed. Later in same episode the Cylons on Carillon estimate the Galactica's Viper pilot complement at 200 and in the Hand of God. Adama tells his pilots they will be outnumbered 2 to 1 by the Baystar's 300 Raiders, the Galactica squadrons having been reinforced by fighters evacuated from the Pegasus. Given the large dimensions of the ship design, there is an internal rail car system to transport personnel, especially in the event of a battle alert. The fuel for a Battlestar and its Vipers is called Tylium, which can be found only on certain planets. Topic. Battlestar armament Topic. Laser turrets The laser turrets are essentially the same weapon as a Viper's laser cannon based on appearances alone. There are several known types of turret. One, the anti-ship type, is a slow-tracking heavy turret found along the outer edge of both hangar bays. They have longer barrels than other turrets. Above each anti-ship turret is an anti-fighter turret. They are flatter and thinner in appearance and track much faster. Their barrels are smaller and closer together. These weapons however lack the power to significantly damage capital ships. Topic. Forward lasers the forward lasers have only been seen in The Living Legend Part 2 and The Hand of God and are often confused with anti-ship missiles because they use the same graphics. They are orange-colored beam weapons solely for capital ship use. It is not known whether all Battlestars had these lasers or not. When the Galactica attacks a baseship in The Hand of God, Commander Adama explicit states that they have reconfigured their lasers to be able to attack the base ship and showing that they are not a standard mode of weaponry. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Anti-ship missiles. These heavy missiles give a battle star enough firepower to utterly destroy at least two base stars. The only example of their use is in The Living Legend, Part 2, where they are fired at the same time as, and often confused with, the forward lasers. It is not known whether all Battlestars had missiles or whether only some did. The only ship which is seen to have them, or even referred to as having them, is the Pegasus from The Living Legend, Part 2. The Galactica herself is never seen using them or even referring to having them. When she takes on a Cylon baseship in The Hand of God, she attacks it by reconfiguring her lasers, not by using any missiles. <laughs> <laughs> List of Battlestars Eight Battlestars were seen or mentioned by name during the TV series. Of these, five were known to have survived by the time the original movie took place. Many are identified in background radio chatter in the original pilot film.
Battlestar's Atlantia and Acropolis losing speed. Background voiceover mail. Request damage reports from Battlestar's Triton and Pacifica. Background voiceover female. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 no response from the Triton and the Pacifica. Background voiceover female. This is the Acropolis. We're on fire. Request shuttles to. A sixth Battlestar, the Pegasus, was thought to have been lost, but reappeared during the series. Battlestar Galactica built 500 Yaren before the close of the Thousand Yaren War. It is commanded by Commander Adama. The Galactica has about 150 Vipers aboard, a mixture of its own, some from the other Battlestars at the Peace Conference, and a great number of fighters from the Pegasus, Battlestar Atlantia lost at the Peace Conference. Atlantia carried President Adar and the Council of Twelve. Was the first Battlestar destroyed in the Battle of Simtar, Battlestar Pacifica lost at the Peace Conference. Novelization states that she was sister ship of the Atlantia, was the largest of the Battlestars and had previously been destroyed, Battlestar Triton lost at the Peace Conference, Battlestar Acropolis lost at the Peace Conference, Battlestar Pegasus sole survivor of the Battle of Maleke, two Yarens before the destruction of the colonies. The Pegasus was commanded by Commander Kane. Missing in action since the Battle of Gamore when she destroyed two Cylon Baystars. Viper pilots from the Pegasus Silver Spar Squadron wore a helmet design that bore a black flying horse, unlike the Galactica's Blue and Red Squadron pilots Falcon, Eagle Crest Viper helmets. Due to the Pegasus' own namesake, Battlestar Columbian, the episode, Gun on Ice Planet Zero. A cadet Cree claims to be from the Battlestar Columbia in an attempt to foil the interrogation efforts by the Gold Command Centurion Vulpa. Vulpa answers back that the Columbia was lost in the peace conference with the rest of the fleet. Battlestar Rikonen the episode, Take the Celestra. During an awards ceremony Commander Cronus is described as having risen from the ranks to command the Battlestar Rikon, a ship famed for destroying three Cylon Baystars at the Battle of Cosmora Archipelago, but at the cost of the Rikon herself presumably. Battlestar Solaria series, another ship mentioned as destroyed in the novelization of the original series' first episode. Was the last Battlestar destroyed according to the Battlestar Galactica novelization, when Lieutenant Starbuck and Lieutenant Boomer tried to find another ship to land on because of burning up a lot of fuel due to the use of full turbos on their Vipers, during the Battle of Simtar. Its ship insignia and the ornamental crest on its Viper pilot's helmets would have featured a burning sun, Battlestar Prometheus on other ship that was on a list of names given to the costume department during production of the series. The Prometheus's Viper pilot helmet ornament and ship insignia would have featured a hand holding a burning torch. Rumor has it that Prometheus would be found by Galactica during the second season. Battlestar Cerberus in the novelization for War of the Gods. Adama recalls serving with Kane and a friend named Apollo on the Battlestar Cerberus as young Viper pilots. Apollo is killed in a battle at Sagittara and Adama names his son in his honor. Topic: Battlestar Galactica reimagined series. A Battlestar in the reimagined science fiction television series Battlestar Galactica combines the functions of battleship and aircraft carrier. The reimagined series Battlestars, as well as the series' other visual effects, are designed and created by Zoic Studios for Battlestar Galactica. Topic. Battlestar Armament Topic. Flak guns Used for defense against incoming missiles and fighters, the flak gun fires a round which appears to work in a similar manner to modern-day anti-aircraft artillery, a round is fired towards an enemy, detonating and spraying shrapnel in all directions as it reaches them. Both Galactica and Pegasus use their anti-ship cannons to fire flak rounds when not attacking capital ships. 
Topic: <laughs> Light guns. Similar in function to the gun armament carried by fighters, the Galactica's light guns apparently fire simple bullets at the enemy at a high rate of fire. With dozens or even hundreds of light gun and flak gun emplacements, a battlestar like Galactica is able to pour a heavy volume of fire into space, creating a zone which is difficult, though not impossible, for attackers to penetrate. Anti-ship cannon Jupiter-class battlestars such as Galactica carry 24 larger dual-barrel cannons for use against enemy capital ships. Mercury-class battlestars like Pegasus carry 28 heavy cannon and are also armed with four forward-mounted heavy anti-ship cannons. Such cannons have proven to be able to inflict significant damage upon Cylon baystars. Topic. List of Battlestars The Galactica is a Jupiter model from the type of Battlestar. The Pegasus is from the newer Mercury class of Battlestar. Galactica BSG-75 The Galactica was one of the first 12 Battlestars. Sponsored by Caprica. Pegasus BSG-62 destroyed in orbit around New Caprica in YR-02, two years after the fall Columbia the first was one of the first twelve built, possibly sponsored by Vergen. Destroyed during Operation Raptor Talon. Columbia destroyed during the fall. Atlantia flagship of the Colonial Fleet, destroyed during the fall. Triton BSG-39 destroyed during the fall, crashdown is from the Triton. Pacifica Valkyrie BSG-41 in service since the First Cylon War, destroyed in orbit around Caprica during the fall Mercury Solaria destroyed during the fall Athena one of the original twelve built if the game Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is considered canon, the ship was sponsored by Picone Demeter, one of the original twelve built. If the game Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is considered canon, the ship was sponsored by Aralon. Rikon Archeron destroyed in the Battle of Sector 12, in YR-58, the tenth year of the First Cylon War. Yashuman destroyed in orbit around Caprica during the fall. Theseus Hesperiades Atlantis Cerberus Themis Acropolis Pleiades Cygnus Prometheus Vortex seen on a report given by Duala to Gita during the attack UNED seen on a report given by Duala to Gita during the attack Erasmus seen on a report on Adama's desk when searching for a new CAG. Night flight seen on a report on Adama's desk when searching for a new CAG. Of these, the first Columbia was destroyed during Operation Raptor Talon at the close of the First Cylon War. Yashuman was disabled by the CNP backdoor in the first minutes of the fall of the Twelve Colonies and was presumably destroyed along with most of the rest of the fleet. These events occurred off screen. The Pegasus just escaped the fall of the Scorpion shipyards by a blind jump and was destroyed around two years later at the Battle of New Caprica. The Galactica escaped the fall and spent the next four or so years protecting the civilian fleet. Badly crippled while destroying the Cylon colony, Galactica and its fleet were piloted into the Sun after the survivors landed on New Earth, 